everybody. It's Linda again. Welcome to Gotta Be Handmade. I'm Linda, the YouTube personality behind the Gotta Be Handmade channel. And today, Devin is talking with me again. We had some video difficulties and we're just going to keep talking about her fabulous gourds. She creates cats and owls from the gourds. My favorite are the cats. Now you were telling me that your son grows the gourds for you? Yes, he does. He grows little egg gourds. These are his gourds here. And he loves farming and he loves growing gourds among other things. And um, he, did, he did tell me that I was going to have to pay for them. Um, but, you know, we're, we've kind of done away with that. So <laughs> There you go. Oh, they are beautiful. Now show us some of your larger cats. Okay. This is my big, this is my big guy here. He's not that large. He's probably about nine or ten inches tall. And if you change him, you can hear the seeds inside. When the gourd dries out, it, all the water comes to the outside because the seeds stay inside. So they they are fun to shake too. This one has this one has really good seeds. Um, oh, he's beautiful. Um, yeah, he's got a nice little smile on his face. And I use a two-part epoxy resin clay for the tails and ears. Oh. Um, and, you know, you, you sold, we sold each one. So everything is handmade from start to finish, from the actual sculpting of the clay for each gourd to the painting. 100%. Um, no two gourds are ever alike, especially the uh, So um, they, those are a little large ones. They are fabulous. I just love them. What type of paint do you use? I use a paint based paint, but they can take form as a leather paint. Because uh, uh, the, the skin of a gourd is very leathery. So a leather paint works wonderfully on a gourd. It goes on so richly and really provides a lot of coverage. And I also use a lot of fabric paints because fabric paints are very rich as well. Um, and the fabric paints have a really nice selection of a little bit of metallic in it. So it gives your gourds an extra shine and glow for my cat faces and, and cat bodies. So. Oh, okay. Now, what do we have to do to care for them? Just dust them off and they'll be fine? Just dust them off. If your gourd is an indoor gourd, like my cats, um, all you have to do is dust them. They're like a piece of soft wood. So any wooden things that you have to dust, you just go along and dust, dust your cat board too. Um, an outdoor board gets more wear and tear. So there's a little more care when you're, when you have a birdhouse, you want to, um, you know, reapply the varnish, uh, a spar varnish or waterproof varnish every year to lock in your painting or whatever design you put on your board. So it's a little different, but the indoor boards are everlasting. Okay, now tell me, where can we get your gourds? You can get them from my Etsy shop at www.gourdament.etsy.com. So it's G-O-U-R-A-D, or G-O-U-R-D-A-M-E-N-T dot Etsy dot com. <laughs> okay, now you have the gourd cats and you have owls. Yes. Yes, we have owls, and um, the owls are very popular as well for people who collect owls, or a lot of cultures believe owls are good luck. Um, yes. And also, my second biggest seller is actually my rooster gourds. Um, the roosters do really well in the folk art scene. Um, my roosters are very, very, very popular. In fact, it's so funny, at one show, we'll, we'll do, sell tons of cats. So I'll be like, oh, it's all, it's all about the cats now. And then I'll do the next show and I'll sell tons of roosters. So they're kind of equal, um, you know, so the roosters really, really kind of, you know, complement the cats nicely uh, when they're together. So. Well, good. Now, do you also have your, your video is frozen, but we hear you just great. So we're going to keep talking. Do you also okay. have... The bird houses. I see behind you. It looks like a bird house. Yes, it's a. It's this is a bird house before it gets before it gets uh, painted. And this one I just did this week. Um, you use a um, uh, hole attachment on your drill, and you just do. This is a one point five inch hole, so 
looks great for um, wrens. And then we put drainage holes at the bottom so that they drain out. And, um, and then we paint designs on the front and varnish it. And you put it outside and the birds really love to, to nest in this. You know, we get birds every year, mostly wrens. Um, okay. But there are people who buy birdhouses on a regular basis because of it's so popular with the birds. Yes. And so that's a birdhouse. Now, what yeah. is the um, what is the average price of your uh, gourd art? Okay, so basically these little guys are eleven ninety nine. Okay. And when I do shows, I have those specials. If you buy a certain amount, you get a little discount on them. Um, and my larger guys, like this one, this is a twenty nine dollar gourd. Um, and then I, they go all the way up to one hundred and fifty dollars, um, depending on the work. Really, it's the amount of time it takes me to make the board. It's really yeah. dictates the price. Um, so I know. I just love them. I think your work is absolutely beautiful. I just love them. My favorite are the cats. I'm gonna take a look at the roosters because I. Uh, yeah. It seems like I kind of need a rooster in my life. <laughs> So I'm, everybody needs a rooster in their lives. <laughs> I'm going to look at the roosters today in your shop. Right. Now tell me once yes. again, where can we get your fabulous work? So it's www.gordamint.etsy.com. G-O-U-R-D-A-M-E-N-T dot Etsy dot com. Keep up the fabulous work. It is beautiful. And I greatly appreciate you. You are a wonderful person of encouragement to me. I just love you to death and I can't wait to hug you in person. Thank you so much, Linda. You're wonderful too. And I appreciate you featuring me on your wonderful channel here. No problem. And everybody, please visit uh, Devin shop. I'm going to place the link to her Etsy shop directly underneath the video and you'll be able to click on it and go right into her shop and look at her wonderful, fabulous God art. It is wonderful and so colorful. Everybody needs a piece of her work because you know, <laughs> for the best, it's just gotta be handmade. Thanks, Devin.